Have you been waiting for me? I've missed you so much. I brought you something back. Did my parents invite you? Where are they? Perfect. Here it is. Ah! Shameless. You've been abroad for four years, and the first thing you do is try to steal my man. Your future brother-in-law? Your man? Yes. Your sister and Connor are engaged. What? Since when? Last month. And you were not invited because we know what you were doing behind our backs. Connor told us everything. Your name has been removed from the family trust. You've lost your rights to inherit Johnson Architects. You may leave. Now. Dad, I... Connor, I, I was going to propose to you, and now this? Is this true? Yep, it is. Let's go. Uh, hands off! I can see myself out. <laughs> what is this? Cheap shit. That Connor jerk is full of shit. I knew it. I thought we were meant to be. <laughs> I can't believe I was going to propose to him. I am beyond stupid. Do you know what exactly he said to your parents? No, and anybody who knows what actually happened isn't talking to me. Well, you're welcome to stay at my place tonight. Men will be lining up to marry you when you're ready. Till then, maybe you can make the most of your single life. And make Connor pay for what he did to you. By getting with his super hot uncle. What are you talking about? Look, that's Connor's uncle. Oh my god. He looks... Yummy? <sighs> oh! <laughs> How do you know he's his uncle? I mean, I was with him all throughout high school and I never met him. Not many people have. Apparently he manages the European division of the business. Just came back last week. My brother met him at a cocktail party and sent me his picture. Connor's entire family is at his mercy. And apparently, he's very, very single. Hmm. Maybe I am in the mood. Let's teach Connor a little lesson about what happens when you break a girl's heart. Yes. Oh, okay then. All right. Go, girl. <clears throat> uh, Bramble, Bramble, please. Surprising. Likewise. I'm sorry. I only have one serving left. Who's gonna take this drink? Me. Me. Keep the change. Very gallant of you. Actually, I'll pay for the gentleman's drink. Sure. No thanks. I'm actually allergic to charity. Hmm. How's it calling Connor's gonna be calling me Auntie Molly very soon? Yes. Ooh, Radiohead. I could listen to Kid Amnesia all night. What are you doing? Tending a heart which needs some healing. Oh, good thing I'm not a doctor. Don't think I can heal you. What? You are just so... Charming. I was gonna say persistent. It's no way to talk to your girl. So now you're my girl. You know, they say when you meet the one, your face muscles tremble. My face has been doing that. Look. I think I've had enough of your pranking. You can go back to wherever you came from. Uh, I'm not pranking you. Sure. Can I at least have your name? Your number? Okay, what do you actually want from me? I want to marry you. Is this how you usually pick up guys at the bar, or...? My name is Molly. I'm 22 years old. I recently graduated college. I make my own money. I'm really funny. I have so many jokes that I could put a smile on that stone statuesque face of yours. Oh, and I do push-ups every day, so you'll always have a shoulder to cry on. Above all, I think I'd make the perfect wife. Perhaps flash marriage can get me out of my trouble. You're not messing with me? Not one bit. Maybe a city all tomorrow. 10 a.m. Bring your ID. Hey, what are you doing? This is my house. There you are. I'm sorry, Molly, but your sister Jennifer has more equity than you, and I need to marry a rich heiress or my father won't give me his company. And with my uncle back in town, he is extra stressed and pushy. Does Jennifer know about any of this? No, Molly. 
my heart is all yours. When I get my father's company and Jennifer shares, we can get back together again and we can have everything. You drove a wedge between me and my family. I'm not proud of that, but I needed to make sure Jennifer got the most shares. You need to get the fuck out right now. Molly. No, Connor, I always knew all you cared about was money, but I didn't realize how much of a coward you are. Get out. Now. What time is it? 9.40? Where are you going? I'm going to get married. Ah, you're here already. Been here for an hour. Oh, you already missed me. Let me be clear with you. I'm only getting married to you because I'm trying to get out of the arranged marriage my father set up. Is that clear? You get divorced after two months. And plus, you're young. I don't want to waste your time. I can decide what to do with my time. What a good-looking couple. Congrats on your marriage. You're going to have the most beautiful kids. And we won't have kids. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, would you guys mind getting a little bit closer and maybe looking a little bit sweeter? And sir, if you could smile, that would be amazing. Oh, he has facial paralysis, so he can't really smile. Congratulations to the both of you. You are now officially married. Why does he have a different last name than Connor's mom? Your last name is Mancini? Yeah. Took my mother's maiden name. All right. Here's my number. I'll be over, so don't call me. Wait. We're married. Shouldn't we live together now? No. I don't like living with anyone. Not anyone. I'm your wife. And my family despises me, so I have nowhere to live. Okay, I'll find you a place and I'll pay for rent. How are you, Grandma? Hide it from me, you failed. What are you talking about? Your father told me. Aren't you at City Hall? Didn't you just get married? Yeah, just got married. Well, then I'm going to plan my visit. Well, uh, what? You, you, you uh, hey, coming? Grandma, it's Molly. Hello there. I'm visiting Molly, not you. Wait, Grandma, w what are you planning to? All right, I guess you can come over and say, otherwise my grandma would not believe us. But my room is off limits, you can stay in the guest room, is that clear? All right. Didn't I tell you to keep a low profile this time? This is our cheapest car, sir. Does anyone in this city know my real identity? No. We made sure. Okay. And I did a background check on her. She's clean. So she is a coincidence. And an incredibly splendid one at that. Don't tell me you don't think so. You can't keep your eyes off of her. Hmm? I saw it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Just drive. I have a meeting tomorrow with several investors who really like my work. I hope I can pitch them my dream and they can help me start my own architectural firm. Well, I know you, and I know that if anyone can pull it off, it's you. And congratulations to the new Mrs. Mancini, Auntie Molly, to Connor now. <laughs> you know, you really should tell Connor and Jennifer. Embarrass them a little bit. Save it. Uh, I'm not even his real wife. He won't let me see his room. Someone is in love. No, 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 no. He's Connor's uncle. You're so bad at lying. Your eyes tell me everything. Okay, maybe I have a little crush on him, but it's still an unrequited crush. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna make it impossible for him to resist me. Daughter? 